in my hands I have what could be described as the best forgiving irons for everyone in 2022. So let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video I bring to you what I think could be the best forgiving irons of 2022 for every single golfer. And this is for good reason. You see, I have excellent reason for this as well, because when I speak to people who want forgiving golf clubs, often they say, well, yes, I want a golf club that is going to be forgiving. I want a golf club that's going to allow me to play my best golf possible, but I also want it to look good. I want it to look clean. I don't want too much offset. I don't want the top line to be absolutely hideous. And that's what I think these irons do offer, guys. Let's get teed off. That is absolutely delightful as well. That felt like butter. You see, I haven't mentioned yet, but the forged, oh yeah. So guys, get in the comments below and let me know what irons do you think these are. I'm gonna tell you in just a second, but I'll give you a clue. They're steeped in history. See you guys, numerous major winners over the years have used this brand, have used irons probably very similar to this, maybe not quite as forgiving, but these are, Wait for it, I'll tell you when we get there. You see guys, these are none other than the Wilson D9 Forged Irons. Now I've been waiting to bring you these for ages and ages and ages. How good do these irons look? So I have these in four iron to pitching wedge, and the big story is, um, well you'll see not much on the short irons, but the four iron that we used off the tee, you'll see we do have the power holes for maximum speed. So that's designed to give you more face flex on the longer shots. You see that that four irons trajectory was wonderful off that first tee. We also have a slightly thicker design in the long irons as opposed to the short irons. And also, as already mentioned in this video, the premium forged heads, guys. So you do generally get that wonderful soft feel. This pitching wedge looks delightful as well down at the golf ball. This looks really traditional, almost looks blade-like, looks MB-like. Could these be the best irons for everyone? A little 90 yard pitch in here. And that felt so easy to launch. That's at the flag. Oh, it's just gone slightly long. That felt so easy to hit. Now, one of the big things that I absolutely love about this iron set isn't just the performance or the technology that's in them, it's the diversity between short irons to long irons. You can really see a difference there, but it doesn't look too obvious in the bag. If you look at those in a golf bag, you don't think, wow, they're mega forgiving irons. You actually think, wow, they can play. And then you see the ball flights that these give you even on off-center hits, and they're really not too difficult at all. Right, we've gone slightly long here with the approach shot. That's more so down to the shot than the clubs. I don't mind chipping with the pitching wedge here. This looks so, I keep saying the word traditional, and for a short time, that's exactly what most golfers do want. You don't want a big, horrible, clumsy looking pitching wedge to try and be delicate with. Go on, go on. Ah, right, not the best chip. Let's see if we can tidy up for a par. Usually I would hit driver at this hole, but I do like testing irons on this series of holes to see if you can still make a good score up. All day, par all day. I like I deserved a par there as well. A good far iron off the tee, a lovely flighted. Chris is on camera for us today. He even said how much he enjoyed the flight of that pitching wedge. He just went a little bit too far. Not a great chip, but a good put to counter. Okay, next hole, quite a lengthy par four. We are into the wind now as well. So we are gonna try and test this four iron for versatility. Now, that's one thing which a lot of golfers want. You do want the forgiveness, you want the ease of flight and you want it to be able to go a little bit straighter. But you also want to be able to play it down when need be. Can we do that with these power holes and low center of gravity, allowing the ball to get airborne a little bit easier. Now you see guys, if I can play a little bit of a stinger here, I'd almost say these golf clubs can do pretty much everything. Loft wise, the 7-iron is 30 and a half degrees, so not too bad. It's not exactly retro, but it's not exactly power specs like Chris's irons either. Sorry mate. Right. Back of the stands, little low draw. 
wasn't the best strike, but that's going to go forever. We'll take it. So guys, the hole's measuring around 370 yards. We've got around 170 left in, which means into the wind, that four iron has gone around 200, which I will take. What have we got here? It is about 170, isn't it? Into the wind. I'm going to go six iron, if I can find it, it is here. So as you can see here with the six iron, we do have the power holes in there. The seven iron is the shortest club with them in. Eight, nine wedge doesn't have them because it doesn't generally need them. So quite nice to see diverse technology in the clubs here. Top line on this six iron looks very, very nice. Not too much offset. Can we get this close? Oh, be good. Go on, get up. Oh, go in. Is it? It's just short, is it? <laughs> that really does go to show, guys, the ease of hitting these. That wasn't the best strike. It was a little bit heavy. The club glided through the... I'm going to say the sand. I can't speak. The club glided through the turf. And uh, that was so easy. So easy. Now, I must say, guys, do these have the entire package? These look phenomenal, feel great, sound awesome, jam-packed full of technology where you need it. I'd be so tempted to smash these in the bag, you know. Not smash them because they get ruined, but place them in the bag. How's that for a shot, Chris? Under the hole. That is perfect, isn't it? Oh, wonderful. Now, another interesting point that we can raise here, guys, because so many people will be thinking, well, James, those lofts aren't exactly retro, they are fairly strong, and that's stopped on a sixpence for a six iron out of the rough. I really don't expect a six iron to stop any more than that. Yes, it was into the wind, but I'm taking that all day. And that's generally, guys, where the landing angle has helped the ball land. So when me and Chris do talk about wedge shots, we often talk about spin, we talk about spin rate, we talk about everything that can get a ball to stop on a green, but the things that people don't often think about is that landing angle. If the technology helps the ball get up, that means it's going to come down from a greater descent, and that's going to help you stop the ball quicker. Oh, I tell you what, guys, it doesn't come much closer than that. Two pars, though. Let's see what we can do on the next hole with these Wilson D9 Forged. So guys, level par through two holes and I've got a very exciting hole coming up, but I have been in the studio with these clubs just to check out the numbers. Do they spin okay? Do they launch okay? How far do they go to say how much technology is in them? Let's take a look at those numbers now and then we're going to take on the hole which measures... 162. Oh, par three and we're going to have a little hole-in-one challenge with myself, guys. If you don't know, I've had a couple over the last few months. Let's take a look at these numbers. So guys, as you can see here, the top line is my Mizuno Pro 223 irons, and the bottom line is the Wilson D9 Forged. Very, very similar numbers, in fact, exactly the same numbers if you're looking at distance. Slightly less spin on the Wilson, as you can see, and slightly less ball speed, but if you're looking at the numbers that really count, you can see there that the Wilson is holding its own massively with a 169 carry and a 175 total yardage. So guys, looking at those numbers, I don't think they are bad at all to say A, how good these clubs feel, B, the loss on the clubs, and C, the technology in these clubs. You will see I'll put on screen now Wilson's strap line for these clubs. Nothing feels like forged. Um, where, I wonder where they've got that from, guys. Comment below where do you think they've got that from. But for now, we have one of my favourite holes in the golf course, par 3, 162 yards wind. And I think we're going to go with a trusty 7 iron. Let's see if we can have maybe Hoyo and Uno. Three goes. Let's do it. And I must say, guys, however cheeky that strap line does feel, they certainly do feel fantastic when hitting the ball. So they're nice and soft, which is one of my big things that I look for in clubs. The blade length isn't too long. Come on, we just want a nice high fade. The flag is behind a bunker, so if we hit a good one, we won't know until we get there anyway. That's right. Right, but it's forgiving enough to probably be not a bad shot. Let's just run off the green to the right-hand side. Maybe a touch more wind up there than I first anticipated. Maybe I could go eight, you know. 
that's again gone a little bit right but that's going to be closer so it might even be front bunker right final shot guys and we will take the worst one for the score come on the wind's hitting these a lot harder than i thought it would that's the one that could end up being close that could be very close couldn't it see where that goes amazing you put a better golf swing on it the wind doesn't hit it as much however forgiving these are they're not miracle workers so guys unfortunately the worst shot is short here in the bunker as i mentioned these clubs aren't miracle workers we do have one that's flag high up there that felt like a good strike but the wind did take it and that was the final effort that you can see on the green that stopped nice and quickly again i think seven was the right club it just had to be struck properly can we save par here from the worst shot nice wet sand spin oh that ran out a little bit more than i hoped actually so guys we have this for par to finish level par with the wilson d9 forged irons i must admit these are the only irons I brought with me today and we're filming a bunch of content so i'm really excited to use these even more sometimes i kind of wish i brought my own clubs as well these are comparable to my mizuno 223s so much so i would be tempted you know to stick these maybe in the bag they're very very forgiving probably more forgiving than mine oh, come on hold your line got it guys that is level part with the wilson d9 forged irons thank you so much for watching make sure you do hit that subscribe button for more golf related videos and apart from that i'll see you all at the same time tomorrow bye